just been dropped. This is going to be effective from here on out, it seems, because it just got released today. It says effective from April, September 18th. So let's just jump right into it. I already see the first card on here, and it's Dynamite, the true Draco fighter. I don't know why they hit this card. Uh, not really a problem. Uh, it's really bad going first, or going second, and it doesn't really do much for the deck, other than... It's just, uh, it's just, I guess, a piece of the combo, realistically. Though they do see more play than like masterpiece and and diagram, but still, they didn't, they didn't do what they were supposed to do in that aspect. Uh, Grand Soil, don't know why this card is at zero. I do not know why this card is at zero. Perhaps there's some like FTK that I'm not really aware of that is going on. I don't know why they banned Grand Soil, but I'm not really certain. Sure, sure, sure. That's actually really confusing. Uh, True King, uh, Lethagasm, the, the, the disaster, the disaster. So they hit the True Draco, or the True King Earth guy. Uh, oh, that's why I guess dinosaurs. I guess we're playing during Grand Soil, and I guess they kind of just wanted to kill that aspect of that of the of the dinosaur deck. So I guess we won't be seeing that deck be played for a while. Denglong, I think Denglong could have been fine at one. Denglong really gives Ying Zings itself a lot of power, but it also gives dinosaurs a lot of power as well. Um, I, all things considered, but I don't. I th I think Banworthy. I don't think it's Banworthy at all. It's just a really good card, and I think having the. I think it's just. I think it's just they just need to keep this card, like at one, because it gives the Ying Zing so much power, and you, like you kind of just hurt the deck considerably when you hit hit Denglong. Dagos Emerald, that card is absolutely not the problem with Zoo decks. Zoo was actually starting to cut this card out, and you rarely made this card. So I really don't see why this card is at zero. Uh, sure, Pot of Avarice-like effects are pretty strong, but this card is really slow in that aspect. It's not even that good. And you only really realistically, realistically used it to garnish back, to, to reuse your resources. Broad Bull and Dryden, we all knew this was coming. Um... Zodiacs so were going to be killed one way or another on this list, and I think these two cards are really good that way. I think Barbel probably could have existed at one. It probably would have been fine, though. And that is all for the banned cards. Uh, so we're going to go on the semi to, to the limits. Ignis. So they probably could have done the same thing. with. They probably could have flipped these two cards around. Uh, they could have flipped, flipped Ignis and probably would have done the same thing. I think if, if you're going to hit them, I think they would be best at one. But, uh, yeah, that's all I say about that. It's really... Miscellaneous, miscellaneous source, so it's a so they're kind of just going. This is they're kind of going a little bit hard on on the deck, rightfully so because the deck is actually really insane. So, wrap here, not a surprise. Um, dark hole went to one, which is really interesting because in that in that well, that kind of just frees up a lot of space for people to play just one dark hole and stuff like that. It turned with Kaiju Summer. It's also at one, which is kind of fine. I actually advocated for this card to go to one because it's such a powerful card. It gives you so much advantage, and it gives your and it ultimately is worth. It's actually better than Raikiki in most circumstances, in my opinion. So, and Gateway the Six. This is really insane because now Gateway because they're good, but I understand why this is here. Gateway the Six is 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 logical because they're releasing stuff for, you know, for the the. Uh, the OCG, or for the, for in a new set, they're releasing more six samurai support, so it's really good. Um, and there is one trap here, True King's Return. I don't think this card was the problem. If out of all the spell and trap cards, I think Heritage is the problem. And then, uh, yeah, just her realistically, just Heritage. I think Heritage is the problem. Uh, but the True King Return, they're, they're kind of just they're kind of tapping the deck on the shoulder. I think in this list, so I really don't see why this is here. Uh, Blackluster Soldier, so, so uh, the the semi limits. Blackluster Soldier, uh, Luster Pendulum, and Mathematician. Those are pretty fair fair cards to put it put it to. Uh, Mathematician hasn't been relevant for for at least a while now, and it's really only good at three. By the way, same thing goes for Luster Pendulum, and so and, and Blackluster Soldier is actually pretty pretty interesting. We might actually see a little bit more of that card come up. Um, Bryonic and TG, TG Hyper Librarian. Bryonic is, a, is 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 fine because it is a card that just recently got rotted. I do not. At all agree with CCG Hyper Librarian being being semi limited. I do not agree with that because that means you you just created more FTKs with this card with this card. I think even with the with the limited rulings, I still believe that Hyper Librarian should be at one still. 
Brain Control, that doesn't matter. Uh, Barrel from the Different Dimension. Zombies get a really huge buff here because this card's really good in that deck. Uh, El Shadal Fusion and Preparation of Rice. Ritual decks have been really good. Preparation of Rice in particular is very nice because of Vendreds. They're one of support Vendreds, and this is the best way to do it. Um, and no longer on the list. Debris Dragon. Honest. Rescue Cat. Rescue Rabbit. Summon a Monk. Witch of the Black Forest. Charge a Light Brigade. Dragon's Ravine. And Wavering Eyes. So, there's only realistically, uh, there's, there's like three cards on here that matter. Uh, actually, four cards that matter. Debris Dragon doesn't exactly matter, but you're giving plant, plant decks a lot more support. So that's, I guess, okay. Honest, I, I kind of think Honest could probably go back to three. It probably wouldn't, be, wouldn't matter. But we just now have six Honest, by the way, now. Which is funny, but that's not relevant. Uh, Rescue Cat, it has this Dramata, but I think this card could very easily be really stupid in the future. Same thing with Rescue Rabbit. Rescue Rabbit is one of the cards that I think is relevant. Uh, Rescue Rabbit is really, really dumb uh, at three. And I think Dino Rabbits could possibly make a comeback. That would be kind of funny. It would be hilarious, but we'll see. Um, Summoner Monk doesn't matter. Witch of the Black Forest doesn't matter. Charge of the Library Gate, that matters a lot, actually. Because now, um, Life Swarms could potentially be one of the best decks. Uh, because they're now at full power. They have nothing on the ban list that is technically constricting them. They even have Black Luster Soldier at 2, so if they want to go Chaos with the Twilight Swarms, they could actually do that. Uh, Dragon's Ravine, that that, we, that 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 came straight off the OCG list. Dragon's Ravine is not relevant whatsoever. Uh, though, pick one up if you're playing um, Spirals. I still think that deck could be relatively good. I think it's going to be at least tier 1. It's not going to be tier 0, because True Draco is still alive. Uh, Wavering Eyes. Again, the other deck, the other card that matters, because this card is absolutely insane. This card is really unfair. Uh, because not only does it burn your opponent for 500, it does a lot of other things, and it searches itself. That's really crazy. It has four effects, and you can easily feasibly get all of them off. So, uh, overall, I think this list is pretty. I guess what you would expect from the from the OCG, they kind of hit or the TCG, they kind of hit cards that really didn't make a difference, that uh, one way or other. But I understand some of the logic behind them. But looking at some of the other cards in here, they ban uh, True King uh, Litho Lithosagum. Uh, I call it Lithogasm, but Lithosagum and Grand Soul because they were both being played in the same deck, I guess. And they kind of just tapped uh, True Draco on the sh on the shoulder, I guess. They kind of just tapped him on the wrist and just let him go. Uh, Dragaster Emerald was completely left field. I don't actually know why that card's actually on here. Uh, we knew Broad Bolt and Trident were probably going to be banned. We, I, I didn't want it to happen, but I I knew something deep down in my heart that D Danglong was probably going to get the zero, get the zero list. But you know, and that's really all that's really here. There's, they didn't really ban anything else. Um, I think I think that it's a sore mistake to keep uh, Imperial Order at one, but that's uh, that's okay. Ignis is fine. Uh, honest, or not honest. Uh, Miscellaneous yours. That's cool. Zodiac Rapul. We already knew that was going to happen. Dark Hole. That was actually left field. No one actually expected this to happen, but I can understand why. Uh, Gateway of the Six because they're leasing new support. Interrupted Cutters. I advocated for this card to go to one, um, and True King's Return. That's fine. Uh, out of all the cards that could be limited or banned, I, I'm surprised Terraforming is still at 3. Because this is what happens. Because now, when you play, uh, when Circuit Breaker drops, we're going to have to deal with ter Terraforming now. Because, uh, especially now. Because Spirals is going to play 3 Terraforming. No way they're not. Um, and that's... This list, this list doesn't do a lot what it's supposed to do. It was supposed to hit Terraforming because of how the... Of how... Of how stupid it is. It's Upstart Goblin. Everyone's playing three of it if you're playing a field spell. And it's really, really dumb in that aspect. You really should have done something about that. Also, Solemn Strike isn't on here. Which is something that, that it really strikes me. Uh, no pun intended. But I guess they believe that Solemn Strike is not as powerful as a card as people think it is. Which is totally fair. Because Solemn Strike isn't... Is is one of those cards that's like that's been in and out of the meta. It's kind of slowly going out right now, but you still play like maybe two in the side deck because it's still relatively decent. Uh, they didn't ban Max C, which is which is what everyone feared was going to happen, uh, which is really good. Uh, but they could have done a lot better with this list. I'm not saying they did a terrible job, but they did a decent job, I guess. So. I want everyone to know what you, I want. I don't know what everyone guess. Everyone thinks about this in the comment section below. I will see you guys in the next video. This has been Team Metamorphos, and I'll be signing out. Also, Pokemon is still at one that really frustrates me.